trying again. I was interrupted yet again. So I have forgotten to include this particular pen case in my review and, um, and a chat about all the pen cases. This is uh, the Superior Label Labor, a collaboration exclusive with Wonder Pens in Canada. There's a lot of these ones where the opening is modeled after, I think, I don't know, of uh, Superior Labor's utility wallet, which is basically a big slab of, you know, two piece with compartments, leather like this with an L shape, whatever you call this um, opening. It doesn't go all the way, so you don't open them like that. And you, you have this containment almost, you only open two, and whatever you put in there can be safely contained within this pocket when you open the whole lot you open it up like that everything will fall off and what i'm saying is that you don't have the option to put it as a pocket like this uh, a lot of wallets are only or whatever you call it is usually only just one and this is all you have the entry point so by giving it two entry points like this it is a little bit more functional because you can enter it from the top this side this uh, uh, bottom however you see this side and this side two sides is what, it, is what i'm saying and so I think the larger part, there's the A, different sizes. There's this, um, there's the A, I know there's an A4. I think there's an A5 as well. So the size of the Hobonichi Cousin, um, the size of this one here, I think. Um, anyway, this is the smallest where it is uh, more like a wallet. So there you have two card slots here and another slot here to do whatever you want with. And some people manage to put a very small notebook here. For me, it's a bit too tight. So here I have five pens, one, two, three there, and five there. And a bit too tight for everything else, especially if I don't want things to rub against the pens. Remember that issue that I have. Now, the one surprising um, side effect that has worked for me in this instance is that when you put three pens in here, and each of these pens are separated in its own sleeve, which is great, it's formed a little nook in the valley here, um, which the two pens at the top can comfortably sink into. You see there? And so these two pens are always going to be separated from each other. It falls into place because of the valleys that is uh, created by the three pens at the back. Now, can this happen if the three pens aren't in the back? I doubt it. So the caveat is that you have this, um, putting two pens there and it will slip into place in a way that doesn't rub against each other. Unlike the yellow Superior Labor's uh, pen case, again, I'll put that video up there. Link it up there or at the end of this video, or you can do a search. Simply search pen cases on my channel and you'll find them. And so if you don't have all three here, I suspect that valley effect, that this one here, where, you know, the valley into onto which the pens will fall like so those won't be there so this only work if you have three pens inside so what i usually do is make sure all these slots are filled first three pens inside and then i slot the remaining at the front so i never do front first always in here first now what do you do with this? Well, it's up to you. So far, I haven't really used it for anything, mainly because I don't want anything to rub against my pens. So if I put a card here, it would rub against my pen. But my card is always with my phone because my phone is always with me. My fountain pens aren't always with me. Um, I suppose you could put more pens here. Uh, but again, you will then come with... You will then come across this issue of it... Um, the pens rubbing against each other here because there's no partition here and you don't have the benefit of those valleys those dips um, these ones here that has been provided on this side of the pocket by the three pens in here so i personally wouldn't you can if you want to um, it's pretty you know you could fill in maybe three four more i could really make use of the space but i i personally wouldn't um, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't really found any use. I just leave it. But uh, if I do carry this around, I probably would put in here, I don't know, receipts or a small notebook. I don't know. I don't know. You could do whatever you want with it. But my main um, 
the main thing I want to discuss here is this three creating those valleys, creating those curves, which these two pens, although freely floating, usually freely floating in this pocket here with no partitions and potentially clashing with each other, but because of the three pens sitting here and the and the dip and the valleys which have been created here have worked really well for me to carry five pens here. Five pens, so that's more than the three pen flap that I really like. It's one less than the um, Fisconti and their more recent uh, gallon leather uh, magnum opus with a zipper which has posed its own issue, um, the bulk mainly and the weight. Uh, the gallon leather is a bit weightier, a bit bulkier compared to the Fisconti. Um, but this has the extra benefit of if you want to put anything here, you can. And it's light because it's literally just one to several layers of, of leather uh, with no hard backing at all. So the only hard way here is the zipper. So yeah, so I am really loving this um, as a pen case. Uh, again, this expose the two at the front, depending on how you carry your pen case. Just note that you might expose the two at the front. So again, the six pen case by Gallon Leather with the zipper, the Magnum Opus with the zipper and the tray that can come out and the Fisconti, I can't remember what it's called now, that black one that I showed you. Those are still the most protective. Uh, but I thought this was a good option as well, and I've completely forgotten to mention it. 